joined right now by a clones favorite. And by that, I mean a two-time CCA winner. Best new guest, best laugh, Brewers outfielder, sixth year in the major leagues, second year with Milwaukee. Niger Morgan is my guest. Niger, good to have you back. How are you? Hey, thanks a lot for having me, JR. I appreciate it, brother. My man, how you feeling? How are things? Oh, man, everything's wonderful. Can't complain, you know. Season's go- getting going. Uh, but right now, it's a little chilly in Chicago, but uh, everything else is good, man. All right, you know, you're coming off the year that you had, and yeah. you made that postseason run. You had a big knock in the postseason. Talk yeah. to me, before we talk about where you're at right now, talk to me about the off season. Have you ever had an off season like the one you just had? Yeah, no, that was a pretty solid off season, you know, uh, from doing – you know, uh, my little PETA skits and uh, everything on Knock TV and then definitely going on the red carpet for the Twilight premiere and uh, and, and being and winning the awards for, for your show. I mean, everything, you know, it's just uh, it's actually a dream come true. Talk about uh, the red I, carpet. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I was going to say. That was, that was a blast. Uh, you know, uh, actually, uh, Taylor, Taylor Lautner having a photo bomb T plush. And, uh, you know, and, uh, and they turned it the other way around. They made it seem like I photobombed him. <laughs> but, uh, that was a solid, that was a solid, uh, that was a solid event. And, uh, you know, it just, uh, I, 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 you know, I just had a blast with uh, my whole offseason. Niger, Team Edward or Team Jacob? Oh, Team Jacob all the way. Ah. Werewolves, no doubt. Nigel Morgan joining us on the program. And Nigel, talk about the way you're approaching this year because those around you, maybe not those close, but those around you on the outside are trying to say, hey, Tony Plush is toning it down a little bit. Is that the case, and how are you approaching this year? Well, just, uh, you know, I'm a little bit more wiser. You know, um, you know, just, uh, you know, Plush doesn't have to go out there and, uh, and try to do have those great little interviews and stuff like that. we got to focus on playing ball and uh, and not try to get, get off the, the subject. We're still – up to the fun, love, and atmosphere, still doing our thing, but uh, but 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 uh, there's a bigger goal that, that that I'm here for the team concept, and uh, and definitely trying to, uh, you know, trying to get to the World Series. Did somebody put that thought in your head, or did you just kind of decide, hey, this is what it is, and this is what I need uh, to do? They are just getting just getting older, just getting a little wiser, you know. That's all. You know, I hear that. We all go through it. No problems. Milwaukee waited 29 years for a division title. What was it like bringing that one to that town? Oh man, it was uh, it was a blast, you know. But uh, it, 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 it's not done yet, Jr. Where you know we still gotta we we you know we we got a big goal at, at that. And, uh, it's just you know the city's buzzing right now. It's uh, you know, but uh, it, we definitely we're we're not we're not uh, we're not content on just what we did last year. We're we're you know we're trying to uh, definitely get to something else, and uh, you know just we've got to continue doing what we do and uh, go out there and have fun and uh, be the wrecking crew that we are. All right, so you're not done yet. You're a different team this year. Do you think that you're going to be an improved team? Uh, I, I believe so. You know, I believe uh, Doug, Doug Melvin did what he had to do to, uh, to, to, to get the right pieces in and, uh, and definitely fill in that hole for, uh, for you know, Big P leaving. And, uh, you know, I think Romney's going to do a wonderful job, definitely at third base, and uh, definitely, you know, cleaning up the action. So I, I think, we're you know, we, we, got, we got everybody back. Everybody's healthy. Uh, and basically, you know, it's just it's time to get it going again. Nigel Morgan joining us. Everybody but Big P, as you point out, Prince Fielder. Nigel, was that inevitable? I mean, was he just too big, and was that market not big enough to keep him, or could the team have done more to keep him? Uh, I don't know, man. I try to stay out of that situation, you know, Jr. Uh, I wish, honestly, you know, as a friend, uh, I was a friend of P, man. I wish he would have stayed, you know, because uh, last year, it just, uh, you know, that was one of the best years I've had, and, uh, just just being able to uh, be with him and uh, Bronny and uh, – and then Ricky and just the whole camaraderie of guys, man. It was, it was, you know, it was one of the best years I've ever had. Hey, Niger, if you're trying to stay out of that situation, I would imagine you'll love the Ryan Braun questions. What up? <laughs> what up? <laughs> what up? <laughs> it, you know, listen. When you when you first heard that he had failed that test for Peds, what did you think? Uh, I was, I, I was, you know, I was honestly, you know, I was. I, I couldn't believe it. You know, it was just one of those things because I work out hard with him every day in the, in the gym, and I see it, and I, and, and, and I see the hard work that he puts in. And uh, basically, you know, it was just when, when I heard finally heard the, the final result, uh, you know, it was just a beautiful thing, and I knew that, you know, that he didn't do the, uh, the, he didn't do the, uh, the, the wrong thing, and he was, you know, and he got exonerated on it. But, uh, you know, it's just uh, now he can move on, and uh, definitely our team can move on, and, uh, and, we, can, and we can hopefully go out and uh, continue what we did last year. You know, like you just hit me with what up, what up. At any point, yeah. did you, when you, at any point, did you pull him aside or were you guys together privately and say, did you say to him, hey, what up? What's going on here? Oh, yeah, 
basically. You know, I just hope, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm here for another friend. I'm just not your teammate. I'm also your friend, too. So, you know, if you want to holler at me and let me know what's good, uh, you know, you, I'm always I'm always open for you. But, uh, you know, you know, we just, uh, that's, how, that's how we stayed in contact. Nigel Morgan joins us on the program. One more thought on that. What do you think the reactions can be around the majors as he goes to visiting ballparks? Oh, I think he should be probably getting a wonderful reception. You know, the fans love him. So, uh, you know, he's uh, he's a face of baseball, and uh, I think he's going to be just uh, just getting um, you know just hells of, uh, of 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 just uh, cheers and, uh, and 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 a mixture of booze. So, you know, it's just uh, one of those things where you know he's got he's a true professional, so he's going to be all right. Do you think? Do you think the fans still love him? Yeah, most definitely. You know, uh, he, like I said, he's a face of baseball, so. Uh, you know, and, uh, and and he obviously he got off on uh you know the uh, the allegations. So you know, it's just uh, one of those things where, you know, um yeah, he'll be all right. Nigel Morgan joins us. All right, so you guys are without Prince Fielder, the Cardinals are without Albert Pujols. Who looks like the better team on paper as you start this season? Uh, honestly, I think we do. But you know, they took us uh, two out of three over the weekend, and uh, you know, but you know, it's just it's, it's like I said, it's a long year. And uh, we're going to bounce back strong. Everything's going to be all right, and we're going to keep it moving. And I think the Brew Crew look, looks better on paper, to tell you the truth, Jr. You know, i got to tell you that, player. Have to. Have to. Yeah. Nigel, yeah. what's up? Get, update me on your uh, social media right now. What's going on with Twitter? How are you approaching that? Oh, man, everything on Twitter, everything's real lovely. You know, I was trying to come out with, a, with like, a theme of the day and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, just, uh, you know, toned it down a little bit, just trying to focus more on, uh, you know, the official Facebook of, I'm Nigel Morgan on, uh, you know, so that's where you can, a lot of people can hit me up there and, uh, and, and definitely on my NigelMorgan2.com. And, uh, yeah, you can just hit me up on, on most of those and that's where you can find your boy Flush besides out on the ball field. Now, Nigel, you and I have talked in the past about you playing hockey. What was it yeah. like to skate with the Sharks in the off season? Oh, uh, JR, you already know that was a dream come true, man. Uh, that was just, I, uh, I, I, you know, I'm lost of words for the first time, JR. Man, I was—I uh, I never thought I'd be playing with my childhood team growing up, and uh, and going being able to go out there and Jumbo. He—he uh, he, he going out there and playing with Jumbo Joe. He—he's he's a blast, and uh, just the whole the rest of the crew—they're—they're they're a blast too. But uh, you know, and, uh, and and me going out and uh, going going on a breakaway and sniping on Gracer, you know, that was that was a dream come true. So I showed the whole world that I can do it all. Hey, Nigel, I know day. that you know their deal. How well did they know your deal? How well did they respond to you when you got out there? You know, first off, they saw they saw the show where I was repping it, and I had that Chargers jersey on when when they saw when I was a correspondent on your show. Nice. And that's how it all and that's how it all came out. So I appreciate you for putting me out there like that, Jr. Nigel Ooh. Morgan, you know it, you know it. And let me ask you this before you go: What is a cat mance? What is a who? A cat mance. A cat man. Cat, cat. Slick oh, Willie, Slick Willie. Oh man, what's the cat? Oh, okay, well, it's Slick. Slick's the man. That's Slick, Slick Willie number nine, man. I just got him in New Jersey. It's Slick Willie number nine. You know, and the reason why he's number nine is because he's got nine lives. And uh, Slick, he's the man, and he, he's chilling. He's actually right now. He's in Milwaukee. Uh, I got I got somebody looking after him right now because because the little homie he can't he can't be by himself while while I'm on the road. So uh, so basically, I got somebody taking care of Slick. And uh, if he's listening right now, meow meow. <laughs> 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 Listen, I want them to understand we're talking about a cat. A cat mance is like a bromance with your pet cat, Slick Willie. How did you find this cat? Tell me about the cat. He's so cool, Jay. I, he's even more like a dog, man. I've never had a cat. The cat actually begs for uh, for human food. So, uh, you know, I, sometimes I let, him, I let him get a little taste of some pork or something like that. So, uh, But, he's, he, you know, he, he's waiting at the door as soon as plush and as he has the keys in the door. He's waiting at the door waiting for me to come in. So, uh, you know, Slick's the man. That's why I gave Slick a number, uh, number nine jersey. Yeah, have you always been a cat guy? Huh? Have you always been a cat guy? Have you always liked cats? Uh, man, I couldn't stand cats, but, for, but you know, but since what I do, I can't, I can't, I can't uh, be able to, you know, have a dog. So I figured, you know, cats are more independent. And I just went to the, went to the, uh, to the adoption place and just adopted a cat. And next thing you know, now I got Peter on my team now. So it's all good. Hey, man, I like that. I got no problem with that at all. I don't mind cats. I like cats. Cats are different, man. Yeah, I'm fine with cats. Hell yeah. <laughs> Nigel Morgan joining us. He's got a cat, Mance. 
Hey, Nigel, what is your Twitter address? If they want to follow you because they're not yet, where do they find you? Oh, okay, oh, de definitely. You can check your boy out at the Real T Plush on Twitter. That's where you can find me. That's where you can get updated. And uh, that's where you can, uh, you know, hear me talking a little bit of smack. Not too much, but I can, I can get with it on there. You can still get there. No, you still got it. Nigel, good to have you back on. Appreciate the visit. We'll do it again soon. Hey, thanks a lot for having me on the jungle, JR. Be good. Nigel Morgan. All right, so he's still T plush. Maybe not to the extent that he's been in the past. Like he said, hey, man, I'm getting older now. But he can still get that. He can still get it. He's got a cat mance, like a bromance, with his pet cat slick Willie, number nine. He adopted from a shelter.